What up, it's your girl Minna. We are talking about the February Boxy Charm box. I talk about this all the time on my Instagram, and if you're not following me there, make sure you are. Make sure you also subscribe to this channel and yeah, I'm glad that you're here. Let's just jump into the, the video. You get five full-size items for $25 a month. It used to be $21 a month, but it went up. February insert card, it was emailed. It didn't come in the box. Not sure what that means or what that's about. But what I was so excited about with this one is that it has in it foundation. That's never happened. At least for the year that I've been on BoxyCharm, it has not happened. And you can obviously in your account on BoxyCharm indicate what kinds of products you would like to receive. So I went on my account. And I made sure to indicate that I was not interested in receiving eyeliner. I don't want to receive lip gloss. I don't use lip gloss very often, like right? So I went in and just made those edits. Like I didn't want to get mascara. I think I said, I said no to mascara. I wanted skincare. I wanted eyeshadow palettes. I do want foundation. Concealer, yes. I did get a concealer from them recently in my January boxy charm, which was this pretty vulgar one. Now it's not light enough for me, but I still make use of it by doubling it up. So yeah, I am very excited about this Becca foundation. It is a $44 foundation. It's full coverage. I'm reading from the email. It's full coverage, 24 hour water and transfer resistant. This is supposed to be breathable with a net. Oh, I thought this was the back. This is the front. It's different. So here we are with the Becca foundation. I have the color cacao, which is the same as cocoa. So I also got these facial radiance pads by First Aid Beauty. This is skincare. Obviously it helps exfoliate, tone, and brighten. Wipe them across the face, neck, and decollete once or twice daily after cleansing. Okay. And avoid the eyes. What is this supposed to do? Okay. It has lactic and glycolic acids in it to safely and effectively exfoliate tone and brighten use these regularly for a smooth for smoother skin texture these retail for $16 so already for the box cost $25 we're already over $60 or close to $60 already just with the two items the foundation and these pads I want to open this up I'm not going to use it now obviously because I've done my skincare and I'm about to do my makeup but this will be something that I'll use afterward when it comes to exfoliation you can use scrubs or brushes that are a lot more harsh. So if your skin is sensitive and you just don't want to use that, then you can use things like a chemical peel. This sounds like a chemical peel, but it, it the way that it's applied to your face is by the pads. So this is a gentle way to exfoliate. I think, unless it requires scrubbing. I hope it doesn't require scrubbing, but we'll see. It says wipe the pads off the face. So it doesn't say scrub the pads on the face. We'll see when I use it. Then I have Ciate London Everyday Vacay. What is this? Coconut setting powder. Okay. It never hurts to have an extra setting powder. So here it is. Now this is very white. So that concerns me. Like we're going to try it out today. I hope it doesn't have me looking like Casper the ghost. Oh, was it upside down? Sorry. <laughs> this one retails for $22. It's supposed to give you a crease free soft focus finish with no flashback soft focus finish what does that mean we're gonna find out then we have these luxie sponges i forgot this was in there i already went and soaked my sonia kashuk sponge and i squeezed out the water so it's damp it's not soaked anymore i actually washed it i didn't soak it i washed it okay let's be clear you got three sponges in here this one is for baking contouring and detailing so that's pretty cute i'll have to use this another time the siate london setting powder is 22 dollars and the sponge set is four $40. That's expensive. Wow. Okay. So Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. And this one is supposed to pack on the skin with good probiotics, aloe, caffeine, and coconut water. The primer helps to smooth and soothe your skin. Okay. This is $17. Energize and Rescue. Silicone free. All right. So first things first, I'm going to use this Pure Cosmetics Correcting Primer. I've already done my skincare, obviously. We've talked about this several times on my Instagram that you still need to... Ooh, Okay, there's a light scent to it. You still need to prep your skin before you actually do your makeup. So there's a such thing as skin prep, okay? I'm going to try and make a concerted effort to do that on camera so you can see what I'm using. But it's really important. Like you cannot, I mean, you can do whatever you want, but you should not just sit down and do your makeup without prepping your skin first. It is so, so important that your skin beneath your makeup is taken care of. Girl, like it's not just about makeup, it's the whole thing. And you should enjoy, like you should be enjoying the process of caring for your skin. And of course, when you do your makeup, like hello, who doesn't want to have fun while doing it? I always take off my Vaseline or my chapstick or whatever I have on. Then I use this Elle Cosmetics lip primer 
I stay using this thing. Cost four dollars. Yeah, I want to see what's going on with this Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation in the color cacao. I told my friend cacao. She had never heard it before. Have you heard of the word cacao? Comment. Have you ever heard of cacao? And how is it? Is it cacao or cacao? Cacao? <laughs> because it's definitely spelled C A C A O. It's not spelled cocoa. It just means chocolate. Okay. But have you ever heard of cacao? One of my friends did not, and it was the funniest thing. She thought I was making something up, and I'm like, girl, no, you haven't heard of cacao powder it looks like it's my color it's definitely a neutral which i'm into these days i'm just sick and tired of looking red mm. i think this is too neutral but we're gonna see focus your foundation on the middle part of your face and then make your way to the edges it smells like cocoa a little bit <laughs> and you know me with foundation i like to press it in like so and as you get toward your hairline you want to go lightly you don't want there to be too much product around your hairline because why? You're gonna contour it anyway and not to mention you don't need it up there. So I'm using what's remaining around the hairline but then now back on my cheek, I took some more. Now neutral does have a little gray tint to it but I can't stand looking red. Oh, I'm just so over those days. I used to make so many mistakes in my foundation choices years ago and the years past. Not anymore. I am neutral. Mm, neutral, cool. I can deal with a little red, but it cannot be like straight up red. This is my first time trying this. Comment and let me know, have you ever tried this Becca foundation? Wow, I am excited for $44. That costs more than the whole box. And I got this um, in BoxyCharm. Girl, you can't beat it. Just put some more on my nose. Some, for some reason, my nose doesn't, like I don't get enough coverage on there. It's weird. Okay. Becca, hello, praise Lord. For concealer, since we're here, I'm gonna use the one that I got in my older box of charm. This is a pretty vulgar. The color is Undercover Lady. Nope, Undercover Undercover 65 Shady Lady. Now this is cool, which I like. I like to play around with. So I like my foundation to be neutral, right? Not red, not cool, just right in the middle. But then I like my concealer to be cool. Cool meaning it has yellow in it. So you see that? Now, this is not light enough. This is like natural for me. And I don't want to be natural today. I want to, I don't want to be natural any day, actually. I want my makeup to pop, you know? Like, I want my highlight to pop. <laughs> like, what else are we doing? And if you don't have one of these fans, you are just on an island. It's like $10 on Amazon. I'll link it in case you want it. It's so dope. It's good to use with your skincare and with your makeup. It just rushes, speeds things up for you. Now just look at that. Blending. Awesome. Perfecto. All right, and now I'm gonna use this Coconut Everyday Vacay Powder and see how this goes. Oh, wait a minute. I almost forgot to contour. Why am I acting like I don't know how to do makeup? I'm going old school with this Richly Honed Pro Sculpting Cream from MAC Cosmetics. Oh, it's beautiful. For my face face, like the powder on my face, I'm going to use this Menti Cosmetics Skin Silk Loose Powder in the color Medium Deep. This gives a very soft amount of color type coverage, which is fine with me because right now I don't want to actually add color to my face. I just want to bring everything in. So I'm taking their actual brush right here. It's a stippling brush. And I'm going right in between where the, where the highlight meets the contour. And then I'm gonna just set the contour while I'm at it. Like, why not? Just setting it basically so that I don't look all greasy and stuff. All right, and for my brows, I'm gonna use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the color Java. I'm gonna just do these and then come back. For my eye, I'm gonna make this really easy by using this eyeshadow base called Eye Appeal from Black Radiance. And the color is Naked Eye. So it's this gold frosty situation. I'm going to, I like to use my finger, but since I have Long nails, can't do that. Okay, and then to round all this out, I'm gonna use the first Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm waiting on the other one. I did buy it. Did you buy it? Comment and let me know if you did. This Black Radiance thing is really ticking me off. I've used this in the past a few times. Videos on Instagram show that. I had another one. I, they sent me a bunch of them. I had the black one. It got crusty, couldn't use it anymore, tossed it out. And I've only had this maybe, maybe six months, maybe less than that. Now with this, when I put it on my, and I was trying to make it work, but as I'm blending a color around it to round out my crease and do all of this, it is flaking all over my face. Can you see that? All of the I, the gold is flaking onto my face. So even though it was still 
soft a bit in the actual container. I have it in my hand, I forgot. Even though it was soft in my hand, I put it onto my eye, it gets really hard and it's not, like it's making a mess right now and I don't like that. It didn't do that when I first used it a few times, but it's like it gets clumpy and crusty after a while, just FYI. I'm still mixing and blending to make my eye look complete. All right, so I just about finished my face. The first blush that I used is Clay Too Much by Mented Cosmetics, and then the second one was Peach for the Stars. I focused that more so on the apples of my cheeks. It's a beautiful orangey gold shimmery situation. For my bronzer, I used an old school bronzer that was sold out for one time, and I just like this a lot. I just don't use it often. By Shea Moisture, this is Dusk, Illuminating Mineral Bronzer in the color Dusk. As a lip pencil, I'm gonna use Mented Cosmetics M5. Oh, and the highlighter that I used was from CoverGirl. And then this is D2 Matte Lip Stain from Juvia's Place. This is my first time using this actual lip, lip stain. It's not as thick as some lip stains. So when using a lip stain like this that's more runny than usual, let it dry a bit before you blend it. And then just to make this more seamless, I'm going to go over the edges with my lip stain on uh, my lip pencil all right here's my look i absolutely love the foundation of everything that i used that is my absolute favorite but let me just tell you i don't know what it is but the bronzer the the highlighter is looking really really good on me right now and i feel like it's a mixture of the, because of the actual foundation it never looks like this when i use it on with other products this is pearl crush this is the covergirl tree blend super sun Up highlighter but this looks really really good i don't know what it is but my skin is glowing i don't know if it's a combination of the eye being frosty it just makes the whole face look frosty i haven't used my shea moisture bronzer in a very long time i do plan on using that more often because i had it in the stash but it has to come out she is coming out to play the setting powder shockingly didn't leave any white mess under my eyes so i like it it is true that it is finely milled yes that's the key that i'm learning the white powders are not a problem if it's finely milled if it's really finely milled if it's the slightest bit chunky you're in trouble even putting it between my fingers i can just tell oh yeah it is really fine like and it smells good very light. it's very light so so far out of this box out of what i've tried i like these two a whole lot the other item in here that i mentioned are the facial radiance pads i will use that when i do my takedown today and exfoliate my skin and then the other thing are the sponges i have to use these another time and let y'all know you'll see in a video what i think about that oh and the primer yes maybe that's what it is is it the primer i don't know I don't know because I did put that primer on. Uh, it's already in my stash of I'm gonna use this again. Yeah, that might be it too. I don't know. Comment and let me know which of the products that you saw me use that you like or you plan on trying. Do you have any of this stuff? I mainly wanna know what you think about this Becca foundation because it's the evening time right now. It's 6.10, so I'm not gonna wear this look very long, but I am gonna be wearing this again and again and again, and I wanna see how this lasts through the day. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, loved it, comment, share the video with your girlfriends, give it a thumbs up. I'm so glad that you're here. Make sure you catch my other videos while you're at it and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.